Hello and welcome. This is Fireworks. Now, a number of reasons have been advanced for the emergence of the new kid on the political block. That's the Advanced People's Democratic Alliance, APDA. Is it a plan B in the case of the uh, disintegration of the People's Democratic Party? Or is it a more credible social democratic option to the All Progressives Congress in the 2019 general election? We seek answers to these questions and more as I bid you welcome. I am Bukola Samuel Wemimo. Yes, thank you for joining us on Fireworks again today. Our uh, guest today is the chairman of the Advanced People's Democratic Alliance uh, in the person of Malam Mohamed Shitu, although his chairmanship is disputed by the uh, um, High Chief Raymond Dokwesi and Menesera Ilo faction of the party. Welcome to Fireworks. Thank you, so much. Thank you. Glad to have you on Fireworks. Yes. Now, um, for a party launched about um, three months ago, to be precise, and it's already headed for troubled waters. How did you get to this point? Uh, for us, we believe that uh, uh, it gives us hope that the party has future. Uh, because if it does not have future, you will not see hijackers coming after the party. Uh, the party, we, we, we put this party together, uh, people came together, and then we believe that it is time that the country Nigeria have built an ideological political party and the like minds who have been robbing mine for over 10 years and we all come together and say, look, this party should be an ideological political party. We look at where the PDP go wrong. We look at where the other APC and other 46 political party goes wrong. And we look at internal democracy of political parties, marry it and then give APDA a very, very clear vision. Because at, as at 1998, we hurriedly pulled political parties together just to chase out the military. Now they have gone. They but, are but, but really, let, let's hear firsthand what the issues are. And isn't it too early for you to start having, um, you know, disaffection within the party? Yeah, it is too early, but it uh, also tells you that the party has prospect. One, uh, the dark uh, forces that never want Nigerians to walk are now at work to see that the party does not take off. Who, who, who are, are these resolute. dark forces and what's their grouse? People like Raymond Dopesi. You know, this is a man that believes he can hijack anything and he believes that APDA should be a baby of uh, any other, uh, his own baby because he believes he can be in PDP and also be in APDA. All he's going for, he wants to be chairman of APDA, he also wants to be chairman of PDP. But ha he, has, he has since returned to the PDP since uh, the Supreme Court victory uh, that gave uh, the Hamid McCarthy victory uh, over the uh, uh, leadership tussle. But Dr. Percy has not left the party. He has, yes, he he has, has not left He has the not left the jugular of the party. As I'm talking to you now, he has took the party to to the to high court, FCT high court, telling high court that he appoint me, forging a letter to say he appoint the chairman, the secretary of the party. And he wrote that letter as BOT. And you found out that the independence electoral commission of today are not of yesterday. They come with acts on him to say, look, Mr. Man, you are not member of this political party. There's nowhere in this in the PA one of the, that is the form that we fill to register the party where your names are face. You are not a member of their neck, you are not a member of their national working committee. We have no you don't have board of trustee anyway. And because we knew that this will happen, we make sure that we put it is stipulated in our constitution. You go to uh, 81 A where we stipulated that for you to be a member of board of trustee of this great party, APDA, you must have spent five years consecutively in the party before you can become the board of trustee member. We stipulated it because we know this was what it happened. We're in the office, we don't even know what is going on. And who, were the, who were the 
patrons or the founding members of this party when that uh, constitution was prepared? We, this constitution we have various, that you talk we about. We have professors, we have, do, you, you know, we, cons we consult. Was Raymond present? This one or person we also consult. We consult everything was, was he present? I, I would say he, 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 is, he, he was also part of us in putting up the uh, party. When we are putting up the party, we go to him as we go to other Nigerian leaders. But he wasn't present when the constitution was being drawn up? No. Okay. Yeah, he wasn't. You said he forged a letter. Yes. Claiming that he appointed you. Yes. Um, who did you get your appointment letter from when you became interim chairman of the party? You don't get appointment. You must have two or three meetings. And we have minutes of these meetings. And it is minute of meetings that you send to INEC. Because in the minute of meetings, you must have elected your interim officers, which you now send both minute of meeting, including a letter writing to INEC. Who so it was the executive council of the APDA that uh, appointed you as interim chairman? We elect, we, yes, at that or time. Was it, it's was election. it an election? It's by election, you must elect was that, yourself. It was an yes. election? Yes. All right, are you aware of one uh, Mr. Ibe Eguabo, who is now the spokesperson of the, purported spokesperson of the APDA? He has issued a statement explaining that the letters appointing the interim national chairman, national secretary, and other members of the NWC stated explicitly that your appointment will be for three months. Is that true? It does not true. Can you show us uh, yes. your letter of appointment? I don't have, my letter of appointment is from PA1. This is what appoints you. That's what they don't know until you are in this form that INEC gives to you. And you can see, this is what appoints me. I so following see. the meetings that you talk about. You see? She to Mohammed. You understand? And when you are claiming that you are board of trustee, you can see National Executive Committee. Then you go and see here, where you have interim board of trustee. You don't, we didn't feel it. And it's not by mistake, because after that, you have administrative officers, which we are filled. Administrative officers were filled. So you can see. You can see here. So this is INEC approved? This is INEC approved. If you are not in this list, then you are not a member of National Executive Committee member of APDA. You cannot take decision for APDA. Raymond Dofaisi is not here. A Guabo name is not here. Menasara Ilo name is not here. Dan Wanyao name is not in this list. By the way, during and the launch, INEC has launch of letter. the party, the, the launch of the party was broadcast on AIT, Africa Independent Television, owned by Chief Raymond Dokwasi. Yes. Am I correct? It was broadcast live yes. on AIT. Yes. And Chief Raymond Dokwasi, by the way, was also present at the launch, yes. even though he was more like a silent observer. And according to reports, when he was interviewed after the launch, when he left uh, the venue, he only made a very um, brief comment, saying, it's not my show. Why? Uh, did he um, like keep a low profile and say little after he left? All of them were denying us. All of them today that came to say they are part of APDA because they see how we galvanize Nigerians, they now run back. As at the time we are registering this party, we are like lepers. None of them associate with us. You know, it's like a beautiful lady. They will come to you in the night. In the daytime, because he's a, a prostitute, they will run away. So but the APD was allegedly funded by the McCarthy faction just in case they didn't win the Supreme Court uh, 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 verdict. The, the Supreme Court verdict didn't turn out in their favor. How do you fund political party? How? For us, uh, because of my relationship with I. True or not? Was the APD funded no, by no the McCarthy fund, faction? No, nobody funded it. So who funded? Who is funding the APDA? For now, APDA is just by, by mere friends, uh, sympathizers, people that believe in the cause that are now uh, paying their due. That is how we, we are funding this political part, this party. And I'm telling you, this party... But the APDA enjoy the benefit we, of a live broadcast on AIT during the launch. We do. So we do. clearly, 
perhaps Chief Raymond Dokwesi believes that he has a stake in this party. That's why he's, according to you, holding the party by every, the jugular. Every Nigerian, so are you all sure Nigerians are he have didn't stake fund in this that party. Launch besides very, the live very broadcast, sure. didn't fund the banner, the ladies who came to sing, the flag, the organization of the party in its entirety. Are you sure Chief Dokwesi didn't fund Nobody it? Nobody fund anybody. Party are formed. I'm here today. If in the next few months we go, we will go into election and somebody else emerge, will I now say it's Shitu Mohammed party? Eh? Party has life of its own. I will die and leave this party. So who are the friends that you say are funding the APDA? By due, uh, mem the national executive members, the national working committee members, if you are a legal advisor, if you are anything on legal com, you, 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 uh, you do. If you are a uh, treasurer, if you anything about treasure or anything com, you do. As a national chairman, if anything that I can do to help the party, I do. That is how we, and then I will pay our due that, so that the party can have. And I want to tell you, when you are saying funding a political party, this political party, one, has not, I did not give INEC one naira before we get registered. Where you say maybe we took fund to the INEC, I've not given them five kobo. We have good rapport, good relationship. And then we are, when you are talking of the office, I donated the office as national chairman. I donated the, the, the office we are using today. So we have not bought any physical thing to say this is what I bought for the party. When you are talking so of do you funding deny, a political party. Do you deny that the APDA is a platform to further the interests of those who would rather not see the uh, emergence or the authentication of Alhaji Alimodu Sharif by the Supreme Court as the authentic national chairman of the PDP? The vision with which we form APDA. Do you deny the Hamid Bakarfi faction of the PDP? I'm not only denying, go back to history. Adeyeye, the publicity secretary, denied this a platform several times. Go back to history. It's there. Adeyeye, the publicity secretary today of PDP, he denied that they don't have anything to do with APDA. And I, that, that's where we stand. So how, do you, how come you find the likes of Chief Raymond Dokwesi uh, in the party? And during the launch, uh, former uh, well, PDP members, prominent faces identified with the PDP, were present at your launch. So also other political parties. You know I was Inter-Party Advisory Council Chairman. And by my virtue of my being an IPAC, I have uh, the, the, the sympathies of all other political parties. Nwanya is of, uh, is of uh, uh, Labour Party, is also present there. I have Abdul Malik, Malik of PPA, they were present there. You have, I have Abga, I have other people that are there. Mm. Now, go let back me quote to the you. video, you see them. At the launch, you said your values are a just, peaceful, and democratic Nigeria. So soon, you're turning against your values with conflict and disaffection and disagreement? I am not, I, as the chairman of the party, is not turning against it. Rather, people that have seen the prospect in the party are now trying to now identify and hijack. We were like lepers, as I told you. They don't want to come near us. But today, they saw that we have galvanized Nigerians, and they saw prospect in the political party, and they are trying to come and hijack it. And that is their nature. You deny any association with the PDP, but so soon, uh, the pattern of conflict in the APDA is looking like that of the PDP before the Supreme Court uh, uh, verdict. That is the impunity we stand to fight. That's the impunity we don't want to. That is why we go and form APDA. And they want to come in with that impunity. And we said, no. Nigeria must stand up. These are times that we must build an ideological political party, a party that will give credibility to merit instead of where you come from, a party that will see Nigeria as one, a party that will build a new Nigeria, a party that will give future to this country, a party that Nigerian youth will have stake of over 25% in elective and appointive office, a party that women 
have 30% of elective and appointive office. And a party that also look at people with uh, physical challenge. These are party and the party that believe in the development of Nigeria. Looking at the resources we have and where we find ourselves, we will not say no to this. We, some of us have been to China. We have studied there. I have studied in CPC school. And it has changed me. It has told me that China marry capitalism with socialism of Russia and to their own communism. And today, even in our constitution, Nigerian, today, sorry, before I got there, today China give 50 years of development uh, plan between 1960 and 2010. And today China by 2010 became the largest, second largest economy in the world. And they give themselves another 10 years, which is 2020 to be the largest economy in the world. And they are working towards it. This is the type of country we want to build with this country. And even in our constitution, Nigerian constitution, we have community development committees, which we're supposed to establish. We're supposed to marry what we had and look at our inside. And that is why APDA is coming up with saying there must be devol devolution of power. We must look at exclusive list and give state right. and we'll, allow we'll, state we'll, we'll talk to about, be the federating we'll unit of the that, country. Uh, we'll talk about that and find out especially the credentials that APDA has, you know, to give Nigeria, uh, to d deliver the goods to Nigeria in 2019. You're watching fireworks. I'm talking with uh, the interim chairman of the APDA, the new kid on the political block. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you for staying tuned to Fireworks. If you've been following our discourse in the last half hour, we've been talking with the national chairman of the APDA, the new kid on the block, though disputed by certain other members of uh, a faction of the party. I'm talking specifically about uh, you know, the Mainesera Ilus and uh, Chief Raymond Dopasis and others uh, within the APDA. Yes, indeed, um, Malam. Uh, Mohammed Shitu, a member of the Order of the Niger MON, has shown us documents to prove that indeed he's the authentic chairman of the party. Now we're moving ahead to talk about how credible the APDA is as an alternative to the All Progressives Congress uh, in 2019. Um, Malam Shitu, now granted that you have um, denied any form of association with the People's Democratic Party. And uh, indeed, you buttress that by saying that uh, the publicity, the spokesman of the PDP, uh, Shola Adeye, had denied also any association with the APDA. But really, you were, correct me if I'm wrong, but you were a former aide of the former national chairman of the party. Uh, I'm talking about Chief Bamanga Tukur. Am I correct? So you were also a member of the old order, so to speak. So why should you be trusted? And considering the antecedents of the People's Democratic Party since 1999, why should the APDA be trusted as an alternative to the APC in 2019? Thank you. You see that when we are in PDP with Alaji Bamanga Tukur, these are impunity he was fighting. And you see how the dissent on him and then removed him because he said, look, this party must be people's party. People should be the sovereign, they have their sovereignty, they should hold the party. They say no, it has to be some group of people. And that is why Bamanga was booted out. And that gave us insight into why we must go and build an ideological political party. And that is why today we brought out APDA to Nigeria and let tell them that it is an ideological political party. Go through the manifesto, go through the constitution, you find out that or, as I was telling you, in our in APDA, immediately you factionalize the party. It is un constitutional. You are out of the party. God, that is what has killed PDP. And that is the same thing they want to do here. And because that guides the INEC to say, look, if you factionalize APDA, then you are not even Let, a Let's member. not lose sight of the aim of uh, this aspect of the discourse. Forget about uh, the the the. the, the friction and the fiction, you know, that is characterizing the APDA now. I'm talking about the inability of the PDP to deliver on the goods 
um, since, 20, since 1999 up until 2015 when it was ousted from power and you are a member of the old order. What are you bringing to the table? Why should Nigerians trust the APDA? Yes, Nigerians should trust the APDA because it is the party that first put women, youth and people with disability in our front burner of our uh, in, the, in the constitution, we embedded it in the constitution that women must be given 30% of our elective uh, appointive office. And we said youth should be given 25%. And we said those uh, living physical challenge should also be given 5%. Constitutionally, it's, in our, it's embedded in our constitution. No party has done that before. People are crying today of restructuring. Go into our, const our manifesto. It's embedded in our manifesto before people start saying it. But that it was Nigeria embedded in the manifesto of the All Progressives Congress also. Well, what we embedded in our, ours is that, look, restructure should be for development. And state should be the federating unit of Nigeria. And restructuring, we are saying, we, we must look at each state and let each state take comparative advantage of the resources within their area, and then be able to put chains of production which will cre create employment. We are saying, uh, let's assume today you, are, you get to Maiduguri in Borno State, and you are able to put up gum Arabic, which is more and more expensive than the crude oil. The governor will not be running cap in hand to Abuja to take 70 billion, whereas he can be making three, 500 billion. Why did you come to Abuja to do what? If you run into somewhere like Zamfara, where we have hectares of land irrigation, which irrigation dam, where you can put up tomato, and then you put up tomato uh, processing plant in Talata Mofara, what will they come to do in Abuja? They will have something to do. Bright, bright <laughs> ideas there, Malam Shitu, but uh, you are also of the former chairman of uh, the Republican Party, a defunct party. Um, should Nigerians have confidence that the APDA will also not disappear into oblivion in the uh, next few years, especially if it has a dismal outing in 2019? We have learned our lesson. We have, after that, we have seen how people come. And that is why in the constitution of this party, we put measures that what happened to us in those time will not happen to us again. And we are resolute. And we are now going back in making sure that APDA gives Nigerian a new leaf, create a new Nigerian for that of our vision. Now, the All Progressives Congress also has embedded, or also canvassed, let's be specific now, ahead of the 2015 general election uh, uh, vigorously about true fiscal federalism, about restructuring. Now that it's in power, restructuring is long in coming. Are you sure that um, the APDA, if it comes to power, will not also uh, be carried away by the allure of office and uh, renege on its promise? I believe that we have had our experience. I believe that uh, we have seen where Nigeria is today. It is not where we were about four, five, eight years ago. Uh, we are even putting up a, a bill into National Assembly to say distribution of material during electioneering should be banned. Because these are why people say they invest in party. And that is what we have guided against in APDA that you see causing this wrangling now. We said nobody can bring, we don't need money bags. Yeah, you cannot just come with money, we must know the source of money that you are bringing into the party. And we said, look, every member matter because the sovereignty lies in the hands of Nigeria. Instead of them to be an employees of Nigeria, they are now the employers of Nigeria. And we said no, enough to this. For us, we believe that we must create a new Nigeria. A new Nigeria where we remove indigenship, where, where you reside matter. A new Nigeria where merit is the bane of the day, uh, is the bane of reward. Because when you said rewarding people is by where they come from, then you get it wrong, then you get agitation. But if it is by merit, you get competition, and then you get more results. 
So we believe that we must create a Nigerian that compete among themselves, among the individuals, among the states. Let states start competing. We are agrarian society. We believe that if we can look at our agricultural sector, look at our aquatic uh, resources, look at our uh, mineral resources, each of Nigerian state has something that it could, it can take home, that it can develop and then develop its people. And then we put up chains of um, uh, uh, development in a way that you don't just export raw materials from your Specifically, state. Specifically, would the APD allow for an Igbo presidency just to solve the Biafra agitation? We are open to any. Ours, we, we are not zoning. We are, I told you, merit. Merit is the bane of our own reward. That will be a good way to drop the anchor. We want to thank you very much, Malam Mohamed Shitu, member of the Order of the Niger, <laughs> for your you. time on fireworks and thank all the best in uh, resolving you. the conflict within the APDA. That's how it's been on fireworks today. Join us again, same time next week, when we'll bring you another incisive edition. I am Bukola Samuel Wemimo. Bye for now.